hitting a thousand. There it goes. Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. So as the title of the video states, today's all about bump sticks, specifically small block Ford camshafts and even more specific, the one that I chose for my project. Now, I get a lot of people reaching out to me and asking, what cam I run, uh, how does it perform, all those things. So um, specifically, I don't know what it is that draws people to those videos. If it's the lumpy idle, that's always a, a hit. I know I love a nice cam lope video, right? Um, or if they're actually looking to buy this cam. So what I thought I'd do is I'd take you guys out for a drive in the car, give you some real world driving experiences with a cam like this and how it performs and tell you why I chose this cam over the myriad of other cams that are available on the market. Um, I should also mention too, this particular cam company, or any cam company for that matter, is not paying me. Um, I just thought I'd do this to help you guys out because I think it's a great camshaft and it's worked very, very well for me. I'll also mention, I'm not an expert on this guys, please don't take me for as an expert. I sought expert advice when I was doing this. Um, you really, really should know, you should have a high level plan as to what it is you're trying to accomplish and then pick your bits and pieces around that plan. If you don't, it can be a real disaster. So anyway, stand by, I'm gonna get you in the car with me, we'll go for a cruise and I'll uh, tell you all about the camp. So this cam that I've chosen was a very modest upgrade from the stock camshaft. These small block Fords are very well known for their torque characteristics down low in the RPM range and this cam is similar in that fashion. So its RPM range is 1500 to 6250 give or take which I was a big fan of because I drive this car for fun on the weekends and to car shows and things of that nature and I really wanted to maintain those low down torque characteristics that these 302s are known for. So that was one of my must haves. The other must haves that I was building this around was I was running an AFR 165 aluminum head and a ported Cobra intake. So now, just to give you an idea of what's going on here, um, I'm coming out of a street light. I'm at 2,200 RPM. This cam comes on strong. I mean, obviously the other modifications play into this too, but that wasn't hard shifting it. That was just first to second with a bunch of throttle. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, very, very fun. And now, just to give you some of the other stats, I run a 275 in the rear. Um, it's by no means a sticky tire or anything like that, but, uh, and it's a little colder out today, but the car, even in like hot temperatures, will do that. Like it's, it's got some jam. Um, but again, the, the low end torque is what I really, really wanted to maintain. And I, I, I think this is something that people need to pay attention to because a lot of times guys will just want a lumpy idle, right? And you can get a lumpy idle in a lot of different camshafts, but, um, and again, I, I'm no expert on this guys, but lumpy idles, uh, are great, but they don't always mean you're making lots of power have a car that just sounds great and idle. Heck, there's guys that are tuning their vehicles just to have a cam lope now, right? I also had the Alphabet cams recommended to me, right? The Ford cams. And I just, I talked to a bunch of people about them and they're great, don't get me wrong, but they're a very, very old cam grind. There's not a whole ton of, there's no upgrading that's gone into them to the best of my knowledge. They just are what they've always been. Um, now they're an easy go-to for a lot of guys because Ford's got a lot of stats out there on them that says, well, if you run this cam, you might have to run different pistons. And if you're like, they make it easy for people. For me, when I was going to all this trouble, I was willing to 
go over and above to make sure that everything was going to clear and, and check out uh, with the camshaft that I wanted to run. I mean, but yeah, I guess there's uh, the group of people out there that just want to, I, I guess, know that it works based off their online research. Slider in, start the car, and go. Um, but I, I mean, for example, I still run stock pistons in this car. I did have to measure for new push rods, um, but other than that, um, it's not like I have uh, any sort of exotic piston in the car to clear the valves or anything like that. Um, this cam is definitely on the milder side of things. You can go wilder, uh, for sure, even with a stock piston, but like I said, I wanted to maintain those torque characteristics. All right, so first gear, I'm just going to nice and easy, put it into second, okay? I'm at about 2,500 RPM. Make sure the ghost is clear and I'll jam on her here for you. So the car will break loose in second gear for sure. Like I said, that was about from 2,500 RPM to 6,000. Um, it makes very, very good power. It's very, very respectable. Um, I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but for me, I guess the the final impression is is this cam and the way. I mean, I've you know I've got other mods, like I said, heads and the intake and all the stuff. 373 gears. I should make mention of that. This, probably the best way I could put it is it took what I knew of the car stock and just amplified it to another level, okay? So, um, about the low end torque too, I will say from zero or whatever, idle, 750, 800 to 1500, I lost there for sure, okay? So, I used to be able to put this car in first gear and like an old pickup, just let the clutch out and let it lug along, right? Um, and it would do that without any hesitation. Now, because I've lost a little bit on the bottom end, this car, it'll start to lurch. Okay, if you get it down below where its happy spot is. And I mean, the only place you really see that is in traffic, right? If you're... Uh, stop and go slowly moving your way through traffic it's just there's a little more gas clutch uh, work that needs to go on for, for any of you that have ever owned a two-stroke dirt bike you know what I'm talking about a little more clutch work a little more gas work um, but I, I see that as a, a small shortcoming right I mean by the time you get off the line you've revved your car probably a few hundred rpm beyond 1500 rpm just to get it going right so um but here okay i'm pulling a hill in fourth gear i'm at 1500 no lurching at all now as i start to drop below that it's still tame i wonder if i can get it to lurch for you guys here stop here it'll be around me so first gear I'll just get it off the line and then I'll take my foot off the gas there it goes right whereas I used to oh, <laughs> where are you I used to be able to just let it do its thing and it would just pull along nice and calmly in stock format now it'll get this lurch going right um, and it's just because this is, you're not in that sweet spot of the cam, right? So I'll just see if I can show you that one more time. So 1500, hitting a thousand. There it goes. Now, you don't want to be that guy in traffic, right? Especially these days where there's a lot of people that remember these old cars, they love seeing them. Yeah, you don't want to embarrass yourself uh, while everybody's gawking at your fox body, right? So. I guess, yeah, that's kind of the, the, the ins and the outs of this cam. Now, I apologize if you were hoping to get something a little bit more technical. 
Um, I'm probably not the guy to be doing that. Um, but I, I, I hope and I think people would probably get a little bit more out of this because you can read all the data you want online until you're blue in the face. But how do you translate that into real world driving experience, right? Okay guys, so yeah, there's my, my quick review on the Comp Cam Extreme Energy 266HR. Um, very, very nice camshaft. Uh, if you're anything like me and your goals that you're trying to accomplish are like mine, which was nice daily driver, good power, you know, you got enough to leave the car show hot and make sure you keep them out of the crowd. I've seen the videos, there's a lot of Mustangs ended up in crowds out there. Um, this is a very, very good camshaft. Highly recommend it. Again, I, these guys aren't paying me to say that. I wish they were, <laughs> maybe one day. Um, I try to drop their name every time uh, somebody asks me about this, this cam. But uh, yeah, very, very modest, yet powerful upgrade with the, mod the extra modifications that I've done to the car. So um, anyway, guys, yeah, if you got any questions or comments, please hit me up. As always, I love chatting with you guys about this stuff. So uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.